Hi, John Talley here with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to be pulling and evaluating an air filter on our 2007 Honda TRX 400EX. It's a fairly simple procedure. Starts with just pulling the seat and fender assembly. So let's get started. What you're looking for here is the latch up under the seat. You want to compress it and then lift the entire seat and fender assembly off. All right, once you get the seat pulled, you'll have access to the airbox. The airbox lid is actually only held on by six clips. Once you get those popped, it will just lift right off. All right, taking a look at her, it doesn't seem to be in that bad a shape. I think it's something we can get cleaned up, re-oiled, and then reinstall it. Now to pull it out, all we need is just a Phillips screwdriver. Doesn't get any simpler than that. A couple of turns on this hose clamp, small twist, pull straight out. From here, we just need to get her cleaned up. And here's our air filter. First thing we need to do is remove the clamp and then the inner frame, which supports the weight and the structure of the air filter. Once we've done that, we want to take a little bit closer look at the air filter itself, make sure there are no cuts, no rips in the rubber. All that looks good. So all we need to do now is use a little bit of our uh, cleaner spray, spray it down liberally, knead it into the filter itself, and then it's gonna sit for about 15 minutes. This stuff is flammable, so I recommend you wear gloves while you're doing this. Make sure it's shaking up really well, and just start spraying it in. Don't be afraid to add a little bit more on the bottom, what was the bottom of the filter, because that's where a lot of the oil and the dirt kind of get collected. Get a nice coat on it all the way around, and then just start kneading it in. All right, once you're done doing this, go ahead and let the filter rest for about 15 minutes, and then we'll go through the clean out procedure. So I'm going to go relax for a minute, maybe watch a little bit of TV. Then we'll be back and we'll take a look at it. See you in a few. And welcome back. The next step in the process is to take the filter, rinse it out in the water, and then let it dry, probably overnight because it needs to be completely dry before we apply the foam filter oil. All right? Sink it into the water and you want to gently go around the foam. See all that stuff coming off? That's exactly what we're trying to keep out of your engine. Work it around from the outside, pushing against your fingers that are on the inside of the filter, all the way around and up and down. And when I pull it up out, you can see it start to come back to that nice yellow color it had when it was brand new. I want to do that a few more times making sure you work as much of the, uh, the gunk and the dirt and the oil out as you can. Squeeze, but not too hard because we don't want to rip the foam. Now here comes the point where you have to be patient. This needs to dry, like I said earlier, overnight, and then you can apply the foam filter oil. So until then, Having a good night. And welcome back. It's been 24 hours, now our filter is completely dry. And as you can see, this PJ1 foam filter cleaner really did the trick. I mean, don't be tempted to use like a, a brake cleaner or a carb cleaner solution because that'll end up just destroying the foam and you'll end up having to buy a new one. Now all that's left is to apply a layer on the inside and outside with foam filter oil. So all we need to do is shake it up and then spray it liberally on the outside as well as on the inside. So here we go. Want to do a nice even coat, but don't get too carried away. All the way around and then on the inside. After that, you wanna go ahead and knead it in, get it worked into the foam. 
Once that's complete, just need to reinstall the, the filter onto the cage, reattach the clamp, and then we can uh, reinstall it on the ATV. Not that much to it. And there you have it. One clean and old filter ready to go. Let's get it back in the machine. All right, and now we're ready to get the air filter back in. Want to make sure the, the frame itself goes to the inside of the boot. And of course, the filter wraps around the outside. So let's get her in there. Start at the top, push the bottom in, put your hand up around the front, make sure that the uh, filter is all the way on. Want to have your uh, clamp with the Phillips hip screw about right there to where you can get to it. You want to get it tightened down snug, but not too tight. Otherwise, you can rip into the filter itself, and that's what we don't want. About right there. Right at this point, all we need to do is get our air filter box cover back on. All six clamps in place, like that. And this is probably the hardest part of the whole procedure, getting this seat with the fenders back onto the machine. At this point, you want to push the front down to get the U of the seat to line up on that front bolt. Bring it forward. And then lock it in place. That actually went pretty smooth. Guys, that's all there is to it. The machine's ready to go. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.